every single day, your arteries are silently getting blocked and your doctor won't say a word until it's already too late. But one powerful beverage can open them back up and dramatically cut your heart disease risk naturally. I'm revealing the science and the facts that Big Pharma wishes you'd never discover. You need this information before your next blood panel. Most folks assume clogged arteries come from genetics, aging, or simply bad fortune. But arterial inflammation, not age, not even cholesterol, is the true silent killer. So I'm going to share five research-proven drinks that shrink visceral fat slash inflammation, boost insulin sensitivity, reduce inflammatory markers like ApoB, CRP, triglycerides, and fasting glucose and insulin. And they promote arterial healing and nitric oxide production. And yes, they help unclog your arteries rapidly. These aren't tricks. These are human study verified metabolic powerhouses. Let's get into it. Drink number one, I call it the pomegranate artery restoration elixir. Yes, pomegranate juice. Uh, and no, I'm not referring to the sugar loaded commercial stuff you'll discover at the supermarket. I'm talking about genuine four to eight ounces of unsweetened 100% pomegranate juice. It's actually remarkable, but very few people, including your physician, are aware of this research. It was actually published in 2004 and it was a human trial conducted in Israel. Participants with carotid artery stenosis consumed one ounce of pomegranate juice daily for 12 months. And the findings were astounding. The thickness of their arteries decreased by 30%. That's 30%. Their systolic blood pressure fell by 12%. Their LDL oxidized particles dropped, get this, by 90%. 90%. And their antioxidant capacity soared. This was a literal reversal of arterial plaque. Here's the mechanism. Pomegranates contain punical agents. Simply stated, this is a compound that reduces oxidative stress, decreases oxidized cholesterol, the LDL silent killer type. And get this, it elevates your nitric oxide levels by 23%. This matters because nitric oxide dilates your blood vessels and permits those plaques and particles and blood flow and nutrients to move through freely without becoming blocked or trapped. Oh, and it also decreases inflammatory markers like CRP and IL-6, which are two extremely common inflammation indicators. It also enhances insulin sensitivity, which assists you in burning fat. So here's how I want you to prepare this first drink. You want to obtain four to eight ounces of 100% pomegranate juice, preferably organic. You also want to get eight ounces of water, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then grab half a lemon and a pinch of premium salt. You're simply going to combine all this in a glass, stir it together, and drink it. Consume it right before your first meal of the day. This is a metabolic and cardiovascular powerhouse. Now let's proceed to drink number two. And by the way, I'll include links and resources for the products that I personally use. If you want to reference those, we'll put them in the notes below. Drink number two. Excellent news for my fellow coffee lovers. I'm actually sipping this exact drink right now. It's premium coffee with quality olive oil, grass-fed butter, and sea salt. All right, you may be thinking, that sounds bizarre. How does that taste? Look, it actually tastes pretty fantastic. And here's the reason. This fat-powered coffee clears arteries. When you locate a, a premium, organic, mold-free, contamination-free coffee bean, it's loaded with polyphenols. One of those polyphenols is called chlorogenic acid. And premium coffee beans have been demonstrated to decrease all-cause mortality, enhance endothelial function, boost nitric oxide, actually reduce blood pressure, lower inflammatory markers like CRP. It assists you in burning fat by achieving greater insulin sensitivity. And get this, research is revealing that coffee beans, premium coffee beans, can decrease the risk of type 2 diabetes by up to 40%. That's remarkable. Now we layer the coffee with butter, olive oil, and salt. Here's the reason. Olive oil, for instance, when you obtain a premium olive oil packed with polyphenols, very insulin friendly. This enhances vascular function. It also assists with visceral fat, particularly fatty liver disease. The grass-fed butter contains butyrate, which reduces inflammation and helps your body generate anti-inflammatory ketones. The salt enhances adrenal function and nitric oxide. And let's be honest, when you consume too much coffee, you lose some electrolytes and minerals. So it's wise to replace them with a bit of salt in this coffee. When you blend all this together, not only do I think it tastes wonderful, 
it triggers metabolic flexibility and stable glucose. And human research confirms this. For instance, a recent study from 2022, which was a meta-analysis, demonstrated regular coffee consumption improves endothelial function. And this was measured by something called flow-mediated dilation, which is a direct assessment of how flexible your arteries are. So here's how I want you to prepare this. 12 ounces of a premium organic mold-free coffee. The one that I've been using since 2018 is Purity Coffee. And you can actually get Purity Coffee for 20% off if you visit puritycoffee.com slash Benazadi. We'll include that link below. You can also just enter it in your browser. It's a very high polyphenol, chlorogenic acid, mold-free coffee bean that actually tastes quite delicious. So 12 ounces of that, one tablespoon of a premium olive oil. And most olive oil available is junk. So the one that I use is from the Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club. And you can get a bottle free after purchasing two bottles if you go to benazadi.com slash olive oil. So you add a tablespoon of the olive oil, and I'll include a link for the one I use below. Then you grab any type of grass-fed butter, add a tablespoon of that to the coffee, and then a pinch of premium salt. I use Baja Gold or Redmond's. I'll include that below. And then you either blend it in a blender or you simply mix it with a spoon. And then you sip on that in the morning, ideally an hour and a half after waking, and you don't consume it afternoon because of the half-life of caffeine. This is actually a wonderful breakfast option for you, superior to high-carbohydrate bagels and cereal and oatmeal. You might want to have this instead. All right, drink number three. I call it the Artery Opening Cacao Cardio Tonic. I know that's a lot of words. What this does, it helps you elevate nitric oxide, reduces insulin, and assists with fat loss. Most folks think cacao is just dessert, but raw, organic, unsweetened cacao is one of the most clinically validated artery healing foods on earth. I even prefer it to beets because it doesn't give you the glucose and insulin surge that beets will give you. And the science on this is extremely solid. Here's why raw cacao works. Raw cacao is packed with flavanols that amplify nitric oxide production, enhance endothelial function, and flexibility of the arteries, decrease arterial stiffness, reduce blood pressure, lower oxidized LDL cholesterol, improve insulin sensitivity, diminish inflammation, and boost your HDL levels. Now, HDL, high-density lipoprotein, is your artery's janitorial system. We want to increase that, and raw cacao has been shown to accomplish that. It's one of the most potent cardiovascular foods ever researched, human research, and this is a massive study. Check this out. Harvard has a study they published in 2006. We've known this for quite some time, titled Cacao Flavanols Improve Blood Flow. The study demonstrated that adults with endothelial dysfunction consumed high flavanol cacao. The results, uh, when they performed the flow-mediated dilation test, which is a really accurate test examining your arteries, there was an improvement by 400%. This is a direct measurement of arterial health. Oh, but there's more research. A 2015 study, which was a, a meta-analysis in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, found that cacao flavanols significantly decreased systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, inflammatory marker, CRP, and lowered fasting insulin. A 2022 trial called the COSMOS trial, 21,000 participants. Here's what it revealed. Daily cacao extract reduced cardiovascular events by 27%. Massive human trial, massive results. So here's how I want you to prepare this. One teaspoon of organic raw cacao powder, eight to 10 ounces of warm water or unsweetened coconut milk or unsweetened macadamia nut milk, you want to include a quarter teaspoon, just a little bit of Ceylon cinnamon, a pinch of sea salt. And if you want to enhance the flavor profile, you can include half a teaspoon of raw honey, and you're going to include one teaspoon of MCT oil to assist with blood vessel dilation and ketone production. You see, when the cacao flavanols reach your bloodstream, reach your endothelium, nitric oxide production jumps. Within 30 minutes, arteries open up, blood flow increases, insulin sensitivity improves, and inflammation drops. This is a legitimate cardio pre-workout drink or something you could have as a dessert after your dinner. I know folks think chocolate is unhealthy and that may be accurate, but raw cacao is different. It's one of the strongest nitric oxide and inflammation lowering foods ever discovered. Okay, we have two more drinks here. Uh, the fourth one is the insulin crushing apple cider vinegar and cinnamon metabolic shot. Apple cider vinegar is one of the most researched metabolic compounds on the planet. 
here's why this works for arterial health. According to research, apple cider vinegar enhances insulin sensitivity, post-meal glucose, by 20 to 34%. It reduces triglycerides. It improves satiety, where you feel satisfied and you don't need to snack between meals. And it assists with fat burning, lower insulin and lower inflammation, equal reduced plaque growth. Human research confirms this. Uh, a 2018 study showed apple cider vinegar decreased fasting glucose and HbA1 CA1, which is a three month measure of your glucose in insulin resistant adults. Apple cider vinegar before meals decreased post meal glucose by 34% in another clinical trial. Cinnamon adds even more. It enhances insulin sensitivity and improves and reduces fasting glucose and it decreases inflammatory cytokines. So here's the recipe, very straightforward. One to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, organic raw with the mother, eight ounces of water, half a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, and you can include a squeeze of lemon. Consume this before your highest carb meal of the day. Your arteries love this combination. Uh, okay, we have drink number five. Now, this is the metabolic turmeric golden artery latte. This one tastes like dessert, but it heals and feels like medicine. Here's why this works. Turmeric plus black pepper called piperine dramatically decrease inflammatory levels like CRP, IL-6, fibrinogen, oxidized LDL, and it also helps extract visceral fat from your body, the fat surrounding your organs. Curcumin is one of the most potent anti-inflammatory nutrients ever researched. Human research, multiple randomized controlled trials show curcumin reduces the inflammatory marker CRP as effectively as anti-inflammatory medications without the side effects. So here's the recipe, 10 ounces of warm unsweetened coconut milk, half a teaspoon of premium turmeric, one pinch of black pepper, half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and you can include one tablespoon of grass-fed butter or grass-fed ghee. Mix it together or blend it and then drink it. This is a fat-burning, artery-calming, cortisol-lowering nighttime drink. So it's excellent to have after your final meal of the day. Chances are your doctor has never mentioned this to you because the medical system is designed to manage disease, not reverse it, not prevent it. Everything I just shared doesn't require prescriptions. They don't generate revenue. They don't keep you sick. And of course, these drinks aren't the complete solution, but they become a massive part of rewiring your metabolism, dropping inflammation, and transforming those cardiovascular markers. So if you're tracking those markers, Track them now and then consume these different drinks for about a month and you can rotate between them. And I'll discuss that during your questions. But then track ApoB, CRP, homocysteine, A1C, fasting insulin, triglycerides, and HDL, and even LPHA. And do a CAC score and observe what it will do to transform every single one of those uh, markers. Let me address the questions you submitted on this topic to give you more clarity here. Before I do, I want to give you a valuable free resource. Look, you've been misled. Some of the healthiest vegetables you consume every day are silently damaging your gut, inflaming your body, and locking fat around your belly. I put together a free guide breaking down five vegetables you must avoid if you want real fat loss and what to eat instead to reset your metabolism fast. This is the truth your doctor will never share, but your belly fat already knows. Click the first link in the description box below, or if you're watching on YouTube, scan the QR code on the screen right now with your phone to grab your avoid list. It's less inflammation, less confusion, and a lot less belly fat in seven days or less. Now let's get to your questions. Can these drinks actually reverse plaque, or do they just prevent more from forming? Both. Research shows it reverses plaque, and it also prevents it from accumulating. So it's wise to drink it for prevention. It's also wise to drink it if you already have plaque. How often should I drink each one? Daily, weekly, or only when my labs are bad? I gave you five different options. I'm not saying you consume five of these drinks every single day. I think that's excessive. But pick any one of the five and drink at least one of the five every day. Whichever one appeals to you, maybe here's what you do. Here's what I would do. And I've done this. I would choose one drink that I mentioned today and have that for seven days in a row. So a week, the next week I would move on to the next drink, seven days in a row. I would keep doing that. I like that sort of rotation. It keeps things pretty simple. If I'm pre-diabetic or diabetic, which of these drinks is the safest to start with? I would say drink number two, 
the premium coffee with olive oil, butter, and salt. That's going to be the safest for pre-diabetics, diabetics, and those that are insulin resistant. Can I combine two or more of these drinks in the same day, or is that too much? It might be excessive, you know, two maximum. I wouldn't do more than that. At least one a day. Like maybe you do the coffee one for breakfast and you do something like the cacao drink for dinner or dessert, I should say. Is it okay to drink the pomegranate one if I'm avoiding sugar or trying to stay in ketosis? If you're trying to stay in ketosis, you're doing keto, low carb, carnivore, you probably want to skip the pomegranate one because it might raise your glucose. Not super high, but high enough to prevent ketosis or get you out of ketosis. So maybe skip that one and use any of the others. Can I add sweeteners like stevia or monk fruit to these drinks? Or would that ruin the benefits? You can. Monk fruit, stevia, xylitol, erythritol are fine. I would avoid, though, sugar and aspartame and sucralose. I would not recommend that. How long does it take to see changes in blood pressure, APOB or CRP, after starting these? 30 days. If you did testing day one and then 30 days after having these drinks, you'll see a difference in, in those lab markers. You'll also feel the difference. So that's it, 30 days. Super cool. I hope this is valuable. Let me know which drink you're going to try first in the comment section below. For those watching on YouTube, please share this with somebody you know. Hey, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And if you love this lesson, I just published a new video on what eating four eggs a day, four eggs a day does to your brain, belly fat and longevity. Now, your doctor won't tell you about this. And it's super cool. Here's a clip from that video. Then click the video on the screen coming up here. And I'll see you in that next lesson. For decades, eggs, which I call Mother Nature's multivitamin, they were demonized. Doctors said they'd clog your arteries, raise your cholesterol, and kill you. They plastered heart-healthy labels on sugary cereals while real food, eggs, butter, red meat, got villainized. Another reason why they believe cholesterol causes heart disease.